This is not something that I've talked about a lot, but it's something that I realized that every person that creates an offer needs, okay? So I'm gonna say this loud and clear, and maybe you wanna repeat this in your mind over and over and over again, that you are you and that is your power. So I want you to write this down, tattoo it on your heart, because the real secret to succeeding in business is being your fullest self. Like you are building a personal brand. So even though I'm giving you a template and even though I'm giving you a framework, there's nothing that's ever going to be more powerful than you, the creator, right? There's a specific reason why I work with personal brands and I work with content creators because I believe in people. And I believe that people have the power to make change, okay? When you're selling an offer, you're making change. You're making a change in your life. You're making a change in the person you're impacting's life, okay? So I was actually talking about this with, I was actually talking about this with my private clients just this morning around embodiment. I think sometimes when we hire a coach or we join a coaching program, maybe you just bought this workshop, we put so much power in the hands of others that we sometimes lose a sense of ourselves. And I want this to really bring you back a second to remind yourself that you have all of the answers within you. Maybe you invest in a course or a coach or a workshop like this to learn something new, which I firmly believe in, right? I have an online course business, but I never believe that I know better than your intuition or I know better than your gut. So anytime that you're creating an offer, you're thinking about your messaging, I want you to cultivate this power within you. And I want you to strengthen that power within you every single day, because I've made some really bad mistakes in business simply by just not following my gut and putting my power in the hands of other people. So what I want you to do is I never want you to stop learning. I never want you to stop growing, but I do want you to learn how to take everything with a grain of salt and never put anyone else's advice on a pedestal. I want you to learn how to run your own business because if you become codependent on a coach, on a system, on a, on a YouTube video, on a piece of content, and you're like, I can only do it if Julia gives me the answer, or if Julia said it, or if Alex Hormozzi said it, you're fucked. Like seriously, you need to learn how to run your business on your own terms. Because maybe when you're first starting out, that'll get you so far. That'll probably get you to like 500K a year, honestly. But if you wanna start playing in the big leagues, a million dollars a year, 100K a month, 200K a month. I think in my head, how do I need to act to be at a million dollars a month? That person is an expert decision maker. And how do you get good at making decisions? By fucking up and failing forward and failing fast, okay? Because there's too many times that I then see brilliant business owners copy other people lean on other people and go against their own intuition. And what this actually shows me is that you're operating out of scarcity, fear, and lack of trust in yourself. And I want you to really let this sink in because the best leaders lead, right? Think of like a herd of animals, right? The leader is the one carrying the audience, the sheep, the people. You are in this room because you're a leader. Leaders lead, okay? And it's okay to have support. I have my own coaches. I have my own support system. But my goal here today and anything you watch from me, whether you're a paid client, you're uh, just watching a free YouTube video from me, like you never pay me a dollar. My goal is to show you how to become a better leader. Pricing your offer. This is such a fun topic for me. Um, I don't know, like I've just always been obsessed with high ticket. 
Like maybe it's just something in my blood. Maybe it's just something in my energy. Like I love selling high ticket stuff. Like I've never really been scared to sell high ticket. I don't know. I just like never had that fear. I have plenty of other fears, but that's not been one of them. Um, and I think it's because like, I believe in coaching like so much and I believe in what I'm selling so much. So I want you to really like reframe your thoughts around your offer and what you're really giving people because you're not giving people biweekly calls and you're not giving them worksheets and you're not giving them course. In my eyes, that's just a bonus. What you're giving them is a transformation. People pay for transformations, okay? So I don't want you to price for the customer you have. I want you to price for the customer you want because if you're maybe feeling like icky or unsure about raising your prices is because you're thinking of the people that are right in front of you. You're not thinking of the people that are ahead of you. And I can promise you the quote is true. The more someone pays you, the better the client they are. Okay. And I give you this story because when I launched a $27 digital product last year, I got more refund requests than I've ever had in my entire business like ever. I'd never seen so many refunds. And when I say so many, I mean like 20. And to me, it felt like so many because that's never something that we had dealt with. Okay. I've had clients pay me up to $60,000 in one per in one purchase. And I can tell you anyone who's ever paid me over 10 K never had a complaint. High ticket buyers are better. And I even share this story and I share the story a lot. I one time had a client pay me $15,000 paid in full. She barely came to any calls and she literally just sent me an email a couple months later and she said, hey, this didn't work out for me. Can you just remove me from the group? And I fulfilled on my end of the agreement, right? I followed up with her. I checked in with her and I said, hey, you know, we have these calls. And she was just like, yeah, wasn't for me. High ticket buyers are better, okay? And I really believe they're the best clients and not just for these reasons, but because it's their own perception of who they need to be in order to show up in the container. And maybe you guys feel this, right? CCA is a high ticket coaching program. If you're a client of mine, maybe you feel like, oh damn, I gotta step up because I'm a high ticket client. I'm gonna really take action on this program. I'm going to do whatever it takes in order to be successful. Your clients have better buy-in when you charge more money because charging more money is a service to the people that need you the most. Because I can promise you when I pay $27 for something, I don't really care about the result. Could be nice, would be cool. I mean, I recently just paid $900 for something and it, I was just like, eh, wasn't really into it. Just took the L on it. I was like, whatever. But the real true thing is like when you actually make a big financial commitment to yourself, you're going to show up differently. And as a coach, you're going to show up differently, right? There's only two ways to make more money. All right. Charge more and increase the value or charge less and sell to more people. Listen, we have plenty and plenty of businesses that charge less and sell to more people like Spirit Airlines and Southwest Airlines and Dollar Tree. Their play is volume. I firmly believe in courses and education, charging more and increasing the value is a lot easier. Okay. Charging more and increasing the value is a lot easier. So in regards to price, this is a general rule of thumb, and I'm not saying this has to be exactly how you price your programs. This is just what I recommend. So I think $19.97 is a really great starting price. I think $3,000 is a good normal price, like just the average price of the product. And then $4,800 is a really good peak price when you really like upgrade it and you do the work and maybe you have some testimonials, I think this is a really good place to start. And this is actually um, how we went through CCA in 2023. 
um, when we first launched it, I believe the live launch was at 1997. And then I just surpassed the 3K because I had been doing a 3K offer for over two years at that point. Like that was actually the very first price ever. And then I just went 1997 to 5K. Okay. So this is how I would recommend it. And I think these are all really great price points that sell really well. Don't ask me why, but these numbers just work. Like these are the numbers that people buy at. So there is like a lot of people that I've talked to in the industry, and these are pretty standard prices for where we see people convert at these three levels. All right, so this was great uh, for our normal CCA students. I will see you guys next week. You guys have your sales coaching call tomorrow. And as always, thank you for being an amazing group, an amazing class, keeping it fun and interactive. And I'm so happy that so many of you took such great notes and so many great takeaways. All right, you are so welcome and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.